So yeah, that's where y'all were. Y'all were getting ready to uh, jump down into this well and do some discovery work. As you get ready to head down, Daisy is currently not with you. Daisy has crawled into the bag of holding for a very specific phobia having to do with deep, dark wells full of water and possibly aboliths. No. Yeah. No. Oh, they're kind of like the uh, uh, the, the trans warp wor- worms in <laughs> Ahsoka. I mean, actually, kind of, probably. I mean, they they are um, aberrations, which means they're outsiders, and uh, they can absolutely mind control you <laughs> with a tentacle. So mm-hmm. very, very Lovecraftian. Yeah. They, 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 the funny thing were... is, you look at the artwork of an aberration, and you're like, "Oh, that got that thing's heinous and nasty." Then you find out what it can do, and you're like, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, no. Yeah, that, that reminds Mutrid of things that she's pooped out after mm, yeah. some very suspicious grass. <laughs> very suspicious grass. Did it have did it have three leaves? Did it have five leaves? No, but it was in the Feywild. Um, um, I mean, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah. Callus so, Cal, Cal is tired of the weird shits. Y'all were getting ready to head down. <laughs> into the abyss. Well, preparation time. Thank Sam Neill suddenly in. shows up and starts talking about an event horizon. No! No, no, no. turn around, <laughs> get the fuck out. <laughs> we are leaving. I am gone. No, fuck this. You people are just gonna fucking die. I'm sorry. Samuel L. Jackson shows up and starts talking about a sphere under the water. Mm. Is, is, no. there, is, no. is there a glowing red bear? down there no so surprisingly the bucket is not big enough to hold mutrid but the rope is strong enough to lower her down <laughs> callus and maritim can fit in the bucket no problem and daisy is in the bag of holding does this bucket make my butt look big yes no <laughs> it makes it look like you're sitting on a bucket you uh i assume that you're all riding down to to the water level and that I'll you hover have down. okay, you hover down. So Callus is the only one in the bucket. Yeah, I'm Mutrid, riding the bucket. <clears throat> Mutrid is rappelling off the rope, and then as you get down to where the water level is, you can see kind of the the rock ridge that Callus was talking about, where you can easily walk, and how it opens up into more of a cavern. It doesn't look natural, but it doesn't look worked. Who all has dark vision? I do. <laughs> Not me. Mutrid, do you have dark vision? I do not believe I do. Okay, so someone's gonna need a torch. I mean, I someone needs to Nobody else has one. Um, yeah, because I've got an ever burning torch. I'll hand that off to Mutrid so that she can hold it, and I can, I can be sneaky if I need to. I mean, that's fair. Be hard for me to be sneaky while carrying a torch. That's fair. I need to get some, get some dark vision. Damn. Yeah, right. Like maybe some goggles of dark vision. Mer- I have danger. All right, Spider Woman. Yeah. Spider Cow. Spider Cow. Spider Cow. No. Moving wherever a uh, cow can. All right. So yeah. So I mean, the water is is deep here. If you were to just like, if you were to hop in, you would be swimming down for a while, but you can make it hop. What? 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 What happened? No, uh, I was just thinking, uh, Spider Cow. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> spider. Uh, yeah, I, I was thinking more like Spider Cow as a wizard in D and D. And whenever they cast stuff, it comes out of their udders. Like <laughs> casting cast web from your udder. Gross. <laughs> that, yeah. that, it, well, and it, it would be two, two webs. I could directional. I could do directional. Like, it'd be four. Webbings. God, if you cast grease, that would look terrible. <laughs> oh. It's like a hose, Wait, a, a hose of chunky grease. All right. That's enough internet for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd really fuck with people, cast poison spray. Cloud kill, right? Very uh, <laughs> fireball. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah. The longer I continue to think about this, the worse it's going to get. I, yeah. I, I All right. Tell you. Let's so, continue. Um. So yeah. I'm. What What do y'all do? Well, first I look around and uh, see what the place looks like down there. Yeah. So it's. I mean, it, it's a well with a water source coming in, and then it opens up into a large, like a, like a large cavern. Thirty feet high looks like it's been uh you know what give me uh everybody give me a nature check guidance oh 
21. I'm loading. 14, 15, 16, 17. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to like take out like one of the ball bearings that I have, and I'm going to cast light on it and just chuck it as far as I can up the well. Using up is the direction that the water's coming from. Oh, okay. So, so tossing it along the water source. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. the direction it's coming from is the direction I'm going to throw it. Okay. So all I of you, I don't make it, but all of you can tell that, that, like I was saying, the the earth here looks like it's been burrowed, right? So this is not a naturally forming cavern. Something has burrowed. And it burrowed big. That's not comforting at all. And you're, uh, Meridim, yeah. what is your strength? Uh, mine is 14. Okay. So, uh, it's a plus two. So, I mean, I'll say you're, you're able to throw it a good hundred yards mm-hmm. easily. Like just throw it a hundred yards. Um, and, uh, the water is more shallow there. And so a hundred yards up, the the cavern is still like this. The water is clearly more shallow, but you see like this little this little bit of light a hundred yards away. Okay. Um so glad this isn't concentration. Three hundred feet. Yeah. Looking looking at the walls, can we tell like how fresh like how long ago it was burrowed? Um, I mean it's not it wasn't burrowed yesterday. Okay. But I mean but, with yeah. this, yeah, with this being burrowed, um, I mean it's worth looking into. I guess what I'm saying is it like figuring out that it's been burrowed. Ah, uh, okay. That is is the <clears throat> thing that burrowed it still around. Oh, um, <laughs> maybe. Like so with your with your twenty one and that twenty three, and I'll even give it to the fourteen with your nature checks, like you can tell that it's been burrowed within the last year. Okay. Like, not yesterday, but definitely within the last year. Because the Earth hasn't really had time to to really adjust. 24 hours ago, or maybe 364 days ago. <laughs> yep, somewhere in that time frame. Got it. Um, I'm going to take a look <clears throat> at the, like, the side, like, the... The sides of the walls and see if uh-huh. maybe I can figure out what did this. Uh, roll me. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be nature again. Roll me another nature. So that's a twelve plus one. So for a whopping one. something with big claws, big, big claws. Anybody else have any ideas what may have done this? What may have done it? No, but I'm curious in what direction it was going. So yeah, so turn around and uh, pull out another marble or another uh, ball bearing, cast light mm-hmm. on it, chuck it down. So the other one's gonna go out and chuck it down and see if it see how far it goes. So as you're coming in, like like the well. So to your so if you're looking down the water source to your back, it's mm-hmm. still solid, right? Like it's it's still dug well it doesn't go any further behind you as you're looking down the water source oh, okay so something came, came down here stopped yep. at the well <clears throat> and then turned around and left or went out or the well backed up so uh, as hmm. as you're as you're chunking another ball bearing with light cast on it you start to see other holes in the wall that kind of crisscross like multiple things try to dig through here, or one thing try to dig through here, multiple times. Possibly, either one of those. <laughs> you would need more evidence to really determine. A lot of the holes that you see, though, are are just smaller than Mutrid is tall. Okay. Ah, let me rephrase that. Sorry, I misread that. They're they're just bigger than Mutrid is tall. Okay. Seven foot. <laughs> Around. Seven foot in diameter. And how big how big is this wall face that these are in? Uh well it's gone up to thirty feet now. Oh, okay. Or try to comprehend what was going on here at this wall face. Yes? With guidance, obviously. Use the hell out of guidance now from now on. Yeah, guidance is awesome. A uh, fifteen total. Okay, so you're trying to figure out what was going on at this wall face? Yeah, like why did whatever burrow 
down through here. And how wide is this passage as it goes back up? Uh, this forth? this passage is uh, twenty feet wide. Okay, so there's a few holes in this wall face away from the source. Yeah, going further down along yeah. the source. Okay, so it comes down. Here we are, and how is there a wall face there, or is it just like holes through whatever? It's just holes through. Like it's like all of this, all of this, like tunnels and and holes and things have been burrowed. So it's not mm -hmm. like I said, it's not like there's a a worked wall or a worked cavern. Yeah. Right. There was a natural water source coming through, and then something or some things have been burrowing around it. Okay. And the water sources it flows through where we're at. Where does it go to? Does it stop at this wall? Does it like flow through one of the holes? I I mean it pretty much just comes straight. Like I mean, it looks like it's coming straight. Um, mm -hmm. and then it stops at the well and yeah. I, I would imagine that it's like pulling up to a certain level and then mm -hmm. like drop then flowing yeah. off into one of the holes. No, so it's it's floating up, like it fills up to to the level. So it's almost there's almost like a like a, like a channel uh -huh. in the middle of of everything that the water's flowing into into the well right right and as i said as it goes further down as you threw your um your thing like it's it looks like it's getting shallower the further away from the well that it goes okay i'm kind of saying it we we go down the well we have to go look i'm gonna, like cal i'm gonna start walking down to the walking to, walking into the cavern and ask the guys hey y'all ever seen trimmers i've seen the ground shake yeah, um, I've I've made tremors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I say we I say that what we do is um just stay down. It's like because I've got I've got the ability to navigate since we're not in the Fey world anymore. Right. I know which way's north, and I'm gonna point off to whichever is north. So I will be able to find our way out of here and the callus is going to whip out a little uh a uh, piece of parchment and his quill and start uh marking down a map nice yeah so i guess we're head up to the source of the water yeah really can't go yeah. that I'm, I mean, that's, that's that the way. main reason we're here hopefully whatever the our, our our friend that made these holes is not around and callus is like well we have to go see so i'm gonna start walking off into the cavern yeah, following the water. No, what he's saying is like essentially like the we came down the well and it ends up in like a pool, but the tunnel we're in kind of slowly rises, so it's dry. Like there's at, no. At, there's a point where it is more shallow, not necessarily dry, but more okay. shallow. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. It. But yeah, because because we tried. Uh, we did try to 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 bless the water, correct? And, yes. Yeah, and. It ended up like within a few minutes getting tainted. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, retainted because so, that that water that's yeah we have to follow the water source. Okay, so the water is draining into the well. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Ah, Thank you. Yes. 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 So let's there is on. water draining into this well. This water source is I keep calling it a water source, but this this channel of water that has been burrowed out is draining into that well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's follow the water. All right. You follow the water. Um pull my shield out. Yeah. Yeah. Um you get you get to the ball of light and you notice that the water is Oh no, there's no ball of light. Sorry. The ball bearing that has yeah. light ca Oh, did you cancel nope. it? No, no, no. When you cast it again, which I did on the second marble, it cancels oh. the cancels the previous one. So I can do it again and then chuck another one down that way. Oh, okay. Um, which is probably what I would do. Okay, so when you get to the first marble, you you notice that the water that's flowing. So now, where you were on like a ledge at the edge, you're now almost submerged. Like there's like banks now instead of like a like a solid walkway, and mm -hmm. it gets about a foot deep as as you get closer to it. It's not rushing, but it's definitely flowing. Um, and 
We are going to do this. Maritum is one, Callus is two, D is three, and a four, three. All right, Mutrid, uh, give me a dexterity save. As, give me a dex save. As oh, this save. thing. That's not good. That's not what I wanted. Stop. Not you, Matt, yelling at the dog. Yeah, I know. Shut up, Matt. As this thing leaps out of a hole at you. Holes. I got got a six. All right. You got a six? Yeah. Uh, Tell you what. You can pick strength or dexterity, and I'll let you re-roll it. Strength? All right. Roll a strength save instead. Okay. 26. (laughs) Yeah. Fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) All right. So. Plus seven on it. God, yeah. (laughs) That roll every day. Yeah. The belay leaps out of a hole and tries to knock you down and you just like as it leaps out you like grab up under some of its armor plated self and just kind of like fling <laughs> like just kind of <laughs> throw it 5 feet away from you because this thing is large and heavy and now everyone needs to roll initiative can I cast guidance on initiative now no it doesn't work that way I'm sorry. Dirty 20. Nine. All right. Callus, you're up. You have a belay, I will say, 10 feet diagonally from you. Like, what? Would would I know what this creature is? No. You're a rock gnome? Yes. History check with advantage? Yeah, roll a history check. These, These things are common underground. How about an 18? Yeah. So, yeah, you, you, you've heard tales of belays you know that they can leap obviously um their mouths are huge they eat pretty much anything uh that they can fit in their mouth and you've you've heard tales that they can pinpoint the origin of vibrations okay tremors like even okay all right yeah it is literally called tremor sense aha okay nasty underground digging creature huh oh and they're and they're like their skin, like their body, is basically armor, like living armor. And they eat about everything. Yeah. Oh, uh, let me. They've been known to uproot trees, cause landslides, leave sinkholes. Uh, let. I'm going to cast web on it. Okay. Let's see. Where is web? Yes. Yeah. Cast. Yep. Cast web. Okay. And what does it need to do? Let's see web. It's one action sense. in range, concentration up to one hour, 15 deck save, a, continu- a, a conjure of mass thick sticky web at a point of your choosing within range. The web fills a 20 foot cube at that point for the duration. The webs are difficult to rain and lightly obscure the area. Okay. So as you cast web at it, it opens its mouth and just eats a hole in the web as it sprays on the ground around it. Oh, shit. You got a 17 without modifiers. Okay. Never get that spell slot back. But the ground is covered in web, and so anyone who enters that space will need <laughs> to make a dexterity save. So so if he, like, runs out, yeah. he will need to make a dexterity save. Okay. Uh, I'm going to also move and uh, walk up onto the ceiling as far as I can. Okay. Don't forget the, the ceiling here is still 30 feet high. Yes, but... Okay. I'm gonna like if I'm standing in a foot of water, yeah. I'm gonna walk up to where at least my pants are dry. Okay, yeah, I'll, you can get twenty feet up the wall, kind of hanging yeah. at a weird angle. Sure, yeah, yeah, that doesn't matter to you. No, nope. don't make a shit. All right, Mutri, <laughs> you you are five feet away from this thing. You are standing in web. So if you want to. If you want to move through the web or move out of the web, you'll need to make a dexterity change, but you can attack without a problem. Uh, Let's see how quickly this combat can end. You can see Mutrid, first attack of the night, getting a crit mm-hmm. and just ending it. <laughs> well, because there's also another thing that, 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 I, that, that I'm thinking about is the fact that I'm get. I'm guessing we can determine that these are the things making the holes. Uh huh. Oh, absolutely. Uh, 
that we don't know how many more of these are. Oh, we have no around. idea. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be more. And Mutrid likes pets. Just kill it. But what you, I was saying, you hear, you hear in the back of your head. This is not a pet. This is a monster. Right. It should be I destroyed. Can, I can. I can also dis. Or I can also control uh, monsters with suggestion. This is not a pet. Not pet material. This is death. You know that voice. Yes. It is yes. a silvery and melodic voice. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And I, it, it's like, and I, yeah, I'm I'm having that little argument with it where it's, yeah. it, it, it's like, but we could use it. But okay, fine, 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 Come, fine. come now. Come, come. Fine, 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 fine. Chop, fine. chop. Okay, yeah. Chop, so, chop, nice, 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 nice. I hit, I do the DC. Yeah. You push, yeah, okay. you push the plus 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, the plus 10. Yeah. Yeah. 18. That, like, that barely hits. Oh. But oh, you, fuck. but you hit. Roll some damage. 13. Da, da, da. Yeah, he doesn't have any resistances or anything. All right. Uh, do you have another attack or is that it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 27. That definitely hits. 12. All right. Another 12 damage. As your sword just cuts through the plates of its back. Ah, that one, I'm going to say you you cut through. You give it a good, awesome looking scar, like right here <laughs> on that one. It is, it is not happy. Is there anything else you want to do? No. Okay. It is its turn. And it looks at you, and it's going to try to bite. Does a 14 hit. Where do I where do I see that? Uh block? your armor class. Uh no, I have 16. So it it has its maw open and it goes to like it lunges forward a bit to bite at you, and you have snicker snack and you're just like bopping it on the nose, like no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no touchy. No touchy. Maritim. Is there any way that I can get around and get advantage on this thing? Uh I mean you could fly behind it. You could fly to the side of it. Yeah, I'm going to move to where I can get advantage. Okay. And as I'm moving around, I'm going to peel the maul out Mm -hmm. and go in for a sneak attack. All right, Uh, roll it. 20 to hit. I mean, 20 hits? Uh, Advantage, that means I roll again, right? Sure. Yeah. Nope. 20. 20 Four four does not hit. 20 hit. Four was the practice swing. Right, right, right. It was a warm up. Yeah. Yeah. So that'd be 11 plus Plus sneak attack four. So 15. All right. So Maritim just kind of zips around from behind Mutrid and like slides in the air, raises his little, their little tiny maul and like (laughs) slams it down on the bully's back with Maritim's legs kind of going up with the slam. (laughs) Like, yes, wow. most specifically. Because I'm flying, so I can't. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it lets out um, a roar that shakes. It gives a little minor tremor of everything around it. Uh, some of the tunnels, like you hear some sliding in some of the tunnels. And Callus, you're up. Ooh, fun time. All right. I Man, I wish my phone would quit locking. Son of a bitch. Wait a second. You can, you can turn that off. I tried. But okay. Right. It's a dumbass. I'm going to use some of my new flame arrows in my crossbow. Okay. Shoot at this guy. Sure. Uh, 24 to hit. A 24 surprisingly hits. You <laughs> you catch it like in between here. So roll the damage. Uh, and then so roll a normal it, whatever What I'm arrow rolling is for my crossbow, for my acid crossbow. Okay. Yeah. So that's a good question. It'll Does it do acid it. and fire damage? Sure. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, that was a uh, three. Okay, so three for the acid and then roll another 1d6 for the fire. Fuck you, one. Wait, what do you mean three? That was five. Was it? I misread it then. Yeah, you rolled a natural three plus two for five. Okay. So six points of damage from the flaming acid arrow. Yes. And uh, I'm also going to... Uh, Pull my humunculus servant out of the bag of holding and set him mm-hmm. flying. Okay. And I'm going to have him fly down as close as he can to uh uh the belay's mouth. Oh, okay. I mean he, he's 
Do you want him under it, next to it? I want him. I want him to eat it. Do you want the belay to eat the homunculus servant? Yes. Okay. We'll see if he does. So you're you're like setting up on the wall. You load your crossbow with one of your bolts, and you're just like, and it just wedges in there, and there's like a little as the fire tries to catch the armor. I mean, it it scorches it. It does some damage. Nothing spectacular. All right. Every little bit helps, right? Yeah, absolutely. Did I mark that? Uh, Yes. Okay. Uh, Mutrid, you're up. I'm going to go right back with Snigger Snack. All right. Roll it. Get snacked, bitch. 19. 19 hits. 16 damage. Damn. Jesus Christ. And this thing's getting snickered to death. Yeah, it is. So that, so that you you hit in almost the exact <laughs> same spot on its face, and you're just like ready, like you're like as you're bringing your sword down, you're trying to like crack open its face, and there's just like blood pouring out of its hole. Do you have another action or anything? Oh yeah. No, oh, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna see what other damage I can do. Dude, that that's a good solid hit. Jesus, my life (laughs) hurt that thing. Yeah. So at that point, you're just you're just adding insult to injury, and you're just like hacking at the same spot over and over. Blood (laughs) is spraying. (laughs) A single tear runs down its eye. It's now almost blind. Snickersnack is like "Ah!" Snickersnack is quite jubilant as (laughs) as this thing is like as there are like chunks of of hide flying off of its face. Is there anything else that you want to do? Just, it's like, I'm watching the sword and all this happening is like kind of horror, but also wow. <laughs> There's a lot of blood in that thing. Yeah. No. All right. <laughs> like, I, I have to pause for a moment to, 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 to fling all the blood off of it. Like, it just seems like, like it's producing more blood, even though it's not. All right. Um, it's going to turn and try to jump away from you. Oh. Doesn't that it? In you web. and Maritim both will get an attack of opportunity. So, Mutrid, you go first. Another it... slash at it. Ew. Yeah. So I do another snicker snack? Yeah, just one. <laughs> just one. Uh, 16. You, like, as it's getting yeah. ready to jump, like, you're swinging right as it hunches itself down. Maritim? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. This one does not have advantage. Sixteen, and same kind of thing. You're you're whiffing at it as it hunches down and it leaps fifteen feet away from everyone, further up the way that you were headed, and then it just turns around and like paws at the ground. Maritim, I'm gonna turn over to everybody else, but let it go. Oh, it's it's facing you. Like it's facing oh, it's y'all, facing me? but it's like oh. pawing at the ground, like it's getting ready to charge. Oh, okay. So it's taken in like a defense, like getting mm-hmm. ready to attack posture. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. And how far away is it? Uh, 15 feet. Okay. Firebolt. All right. Roll it. Oh, that's a miss. That's seven. So you're trying to hit it. And as you're aiming for it while it's <laughs> pawing at the ground, you're like <laughs> floating in the air and you miss. You shoot too low, right? Like you're aiming for like the bottom of its mouth and your firebolt actually ends up hitting some of Callus's web, burning it away. Damn it. You still got movement, right? Yep, you still got movement. All right, I'm going to back up behind Mutrid. Sure. I'm like, shit. Kind of like putting on the fucking, like slamming into the reverse like real quick, like in like a little fucking Isuzu. Uh, And just the fucking wings are just going 90 miles an hour. Matt... Because yeah. he catches the web on fire, do I catch on fire? Too? No, he he got just a little portion of it, and it okay. burned away. Callus, you're up. It is uh, it is within range of your crossbow. So yes. for you, he's he's I'll say twenty feet away from you. So you could also move to close distance. Uh, first things first, I'm going to uh, have my uh, humunculus servant chase it down. Okay. And touch it with a shocking grasp. Ooh. That's nifty. Isn't Let's it? Let's see here. Shocking grasp. All right. Yeah. So it Fuck. climbs, it catches it. Um, 
Are you are you using it on a? Do you have a higher level spell slot to use it with, or are you using it as the base? Base base level. Okay, so one d eight. Yeah, I just rolled it. All right, yeah, because there's no save for it or anything. Roll it. No, I rolled the oh. hit. Oh, uh, do you? I rolled the hit and I got a nine. Oh. Uh, yeah. It's still a spell attack, I think. I think. Could, it, could we all be wrong? Yeah. No. 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 Did you did you roll it with your uh, the hit DC for shocking grasp? Yeah. So you rolled a, and you got a nine. Yeah, it's a plus eight. I created one. He, he you got a nat one. I got a nat oh. one, but the roll is a plus eight. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, high or low, Callus? Uh, low. All right. Low in your favor. Oh, you're so lucky. All right, so. Your humunculus servant goes to touch and trips and shocks the ground and then stands back up and is like beep up, beep boop up. I don't I don't know how that thing talks. <clears throat> yeah, had I I rolled a one on a D hundred. Had I rolled anything above a fifty, it would have shocked itself on accident and stunned itself. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm glad it failed right then. Yeah. 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 All right. Anything anything uh, else on your turn? Yeah, I'm a crossbow it. All right, crossbow it. Same thing. There you go. That's a little better. Yeah, that hits. Why is it not pulling up my numbers? It's discouraging. All right. Anyway, 18 plus five, that hits. Damage. I can't see it. I see a three and then roll a D5. All right, D6. Sorry, roll one D6. I didn't know they made fives. All right, five. There's a a little fire damage. So eight damage. As you, this time you catch it. In the same slot that Mutrid's been honing in. Your your bolt just... And the acid gets in. And we're going to add another four damage for the acid because it's in an open wound. Because because I'm the DM and I can do that. If I I hit it with that shock and grasp, it would have been done. (laughs) Unless you rolled a one on damage. Oh, no, yeah. (laughs) All right, Mutrid, you're up. And uh, seeing how fucked up this thing's getting, I'm just going to like peek out from like the side of Mutrid, I'm going to yell at, go home. Go fucking go home. Is it is it still within striking range? Oh, no. It's 15 okay. feet away from you. You're going to have to close distance. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna get up close to it. All right. Give me a deck save. I'm going to grab onto her dress as she runs. Okay. You're going to need to make a strength save. Who, me or her? Meriton. Okay. Deck save. Yep. Come on. 17. You, you get it. Maritim, you feel Maritim try to grab onto you, and your tail just reflexively swats him away like a fly. Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, you can you can close. Okay. See. And then Maritim's just like hovering in the air, like holding one hand out, like damn, <laughs> like half upside down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a bad like like, well, like, and, like like and, half inverted. Like I know it's like yeah. I mean, okay, so I'm gonna roll to hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, 21. Oh, that hits. So as I'm bringing my sword down, I'm gonna, like, sorry, Miratum, and I do 19 God damage. Da- All right, Fuck. you you bring it down, and as you bring your sword down, because it's Snickersnack, you just lop its head off, and like Monty Python or Kill Bill, you just get sprayed with <laughs> belay blood. Um, and as that's happening, I'm just gonna be like. Maybe it was a good thing I didn't go. Anybody who wants to harvest from the belay, make a roll. That is that is some good good hide there. Uh, nature roll, survival. Uh, make it a survival roll. Yes, <clears throat> better. And then uh, guidance on top of that. Damn it! I mean, you get a few strips. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve. Yeah. Like six I'm strips of good hide. You're going for what? I'm going for the claws. Yeah, okay, so you're able to salvage uh, three claws. Anybody else? No, that thing's gross. Yeah. Okay. Survival. I mean, if it had some acid properties, I'd be going for that, but... No, it does not. You said survival? Yeah, survival. (laughs) What are you going for? Guidance. The hide. Okay. I got a five, though. Yeah, roll a a d4, D4. because Maritim just gave you guidance. Quite literally the most useful cantrip in the world. It is pretty useful. Four. Four. All right. Nine. Yeah. So you get um, you get like four good strips of of belay hide. Cool. Gross. Stop it. So 
Um, so as y'all continue walking, uh, you you see um, in the path clearly where this belay has dug across, and you can see where this water is actually starting to come in, like where where the foreign water is starting to come in um, and pollute the town's water source. So what, as you're walking, what you find is that the belay and all of its burrowing, doing whatever it does naturally, it burrowed enough or it burrowed in just the right spot to where a different well's water source or a different water source is tainting this water source now. And if you continue following, or as you continue following along the path of the water and where it's coming from, you find yourselves <clears throat> at the bottom of a different well. So, wondering, uh, consulting with Mutrid and Callus, <clears throat> because Callus is still mapping, right? Yeah, I'm, right, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of, yeah. Okay, and are they coordinating their efforts with Mutrid knowing where North is? Yes. Okay, so are we still under the town, or are we in another town? No, you have, you have moved far beyond the town. Okay. So you have moved. Where? So if you remember when you were in the town, if you remember where the copes of trees were that kind of sat on the outside of the town, uh -huh. there was that forest. You've gone beyond that forest. Like you've gone beyond the edge of that forest and you now find yourselves at the <laughs> bottom of a completely different well. And is this where the contaminated or tainted water is coming from? Mm -hmm. Okay. So is it like, you know, so I could walk up the well? You could, yeah. Like okay, yeah. So we can go. Well, up you could, this. yeah. Yeah, I'll go up there. I'll go up and have a look, <clears throat> see where we're at. Okay, so you pop up the well, and you are kind of peeking out right here, and you see in this town, it's a completely different town. Uh, little I say town. You see like a like a main kind of through fair of like shops and things, but everything has been overgrown with vegetation and vines you don't see any people walking about how long are you going to stay up there and look just long enough to get the lay of the land and go back and scurry back down and report my uh, findings so like like two minutes or so yeah yeah okay so yeah you see some buildings covered in vines you don't see any people you don't uh at first you don't hear any voices and then you end up hearing where did it go sorry i need this real quick you almost hear voices talking but they're they're light like it's like voices on the wind but you don't see anyone around and then you i'm going to say that's when you dive or when you start walking back down into the well okay so i'm going to go down and report everything that i saw and I'm going to ask Callus, like, as you were going up, does the tainted water coming from above down here? Is it, like, seeping through the ground somewhere into the I well? Can't, I can't tell where the water is coming from, but my suspicion is somebody's been pouring it into this well. I think this town, like, got killed. Like, I'm just guessing, but I think this town, uh, uh, it, it had all its memories erased, and somebody is using this well to, to further... Uh, uh, their poisoning exploits of memory loss. I suggest we go all go up and have a look at this town because I did hear voices off in the distance. Hold on, hold on. I was gonna say, let me go, let me go up, but it's like because yeah. I want to, I want to go up, but to where I'm still covered by the the well. It's like nobody can see me poking up out of the well. Is there daylight coming through the well? Mm -hmm. It is still daylight. Okay. I would suggest that I go. Because I was going to say I can use, it's like my detect thoughts and I can, it's like get up close without without showing myself and use the detect thoughts. It knows just. Blech. It's opened up. Yeah. Yeah, that's a possibility. See if there's anyone actually there. Because if everything's overgrown, then nobody's living here. Like this isn't a living town anymore. Yeah. See if there's anything alive up there. Yeah. Let's all just go look. You heard 
you heard people, but you didn't see. You I didn't see them. I heard, I heard them off in the like a, like they were in the distance. Uh, I'm gonna touch uh, Mutrid and give her blessing of the trickster, which that'll give you advantage on any stealth checks. So as you're climbing, roll for stealth. Do advantage. Oh my god! Come on, I gotta wait for. Mine's taking forever to load too. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. There we go. Stealth. Okay. Oh fuck! No, no. Eight. I got a. I got a nat one and a five. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um. All right. So you. I mean, you think you're being stealthy as you poke your head up over the. over the edge of the well. And can I premium assets? Uh, I was I wasn't meaning to stick my head up above the well. Oh, I thought you were wanting to look out. No, no, I oh. was just wanting to get up <clears throat> up further surface level and do the detect thoughts. Okay, um, so you get up to to where? Okay, so you get up to where you think. You are still well hidden, um, and you cast detect thoughts, and nothing comes back. I, w- I would love it just, just cinematically. Like she thinks she's <laughs> not; should have never had exposed, but her horns are just kind of. Uh-huh. That's yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, the horns are that's exactly what it well. is. She's like, I can't see anybody; they can't see me. And then there's just these horns just whirling around in a well. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. So the plan was to go up. Let's go up and have a look. The guy made a map for it. Yeah. The DM made a map. We must explore. We have to go check it out. Um, I would say let me go first. I think it's a good idea. And then I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to give myself Blessing of the Trickster. Okay. And like fly up until where I can like put my hands on the on the edge of the well and like slowly pull myself up and take a look around. Uh, roll stealth. Okay. No, no, you're you're crawling up one of my horns. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so as as you get up there, you see that her horns are absolutely or, like like half two. of her horns are exposed. At that point, Maritim, as you're up there, uh, you are able to see two women, half ethereal, coming out of this door right here. There, there is a sign hanging from the building. You can't really read what it said. Um, these women are very clearly ghosts. And they are talking about going to a party at the castle in a couple, in a few evenings. Off in the distance, right? So I'm going to back it up here because you're taking a better look. Um, you see a you see buildings, buildings, buildings. And then you see a wall here with a gate. And then beyond the wall, standing above it, you can see a castle and a tower off to the side. And you can see a collapsed bridge in between what you would assume is the third floor of the tower and the castle. Mm-hmm. Right, not another tower. Okay, well, and while I'm hanging there, I'm going to like grab one of my ball bearings and throw it in the direction of... Uh, right there between where it says shop and alchemy, I'm just going to chunk it down that way. So like right here into the bush? Uh, Because you're here. Uh, Right. You mean here? Yeah. Okay. So you toss it that way? Yeah. They don't seem to react. They don't seem to react. Although as you do that, uh, two more ghosts come walking out, leisurely Mm -hmm. strolling from around this building back here. And they are headed towards uh, this shop over here. Um, It is two gentlemen uh, just wearing everyday traveler's clothes. And one of them stops at the the door, like tries to open it, and their hand goes right through the handle. Uh And he turns the other one and says, oh, I guess they're closed today. Where would you like to go? Oh, well, let's head to the tavern. And so then they start walking up this way. And these two ghosts decide that they're going to head over here. And one of them mimes opening the door and just walks in. Off in the distance, you also see two more ghosts up here. 
Okay. Now the two gentlemen ghosts, I'm gonna wait until they pass. Okay. And then I'm gonna keep an eye on those two at the very top there and see what they're doing. See which way they're moving. They're gonna move this way down here. It's like, okay, so I'm gonna go back down and <laughs> be like, uh, so there's ghosts in the town. Fucking ghosts. Okay. Fucking ghosts. How do you kill a ghost? Good question. So let's maybe not piss them off. That would probably be a good idea. Okay. So the coast looks clear for now. So we could probably get out of here and go somewhere. I don't know where. Because we, we, I mean, we really don't know what we're looking for. Now, Matt, as I'm going up the well and back down the well, do, mm -hmm. do I notice any water seeping in from the sides of the well down? Nope. And does, does this tunnel like terminate at, at the bottom of the well? Does it go any further in any direction? I mean, the well the well goes down, but the tunnel terminates right. at the well. Okay. But we we and get so, a break. It, it's safe to say that the the tainted water source is is not. Be it's coming from here. It's coming from here. It's coming yeah. from here, but it's not coming from the well specifically. It's coming from outside the well. In would that no, be it, a logical? I mean, it seems like like it. It seems like it's coming from this well. Okay, so like the water that's seeping through this ground is like tainted, and then going through and contaminating the, the source yeah. for the other town. Yeah. Okay. Callus is of the opinion of jumping up out of that well and like trying to make a dash for behind like the lower shop with like two trees in the backyard. So yeah. back here. Yeah, Callus like trying to run in between those thought. two shops and like you know pant against the wall for a second and hope you nobody saw him. Sure. I'll go up and kind of be the eyes as they're coming out and go ahead right. of that direction. Yeah. I'm going to follow. Why Why does my callus not want to get on the map? There he is. All right. So you jump out and you run back here. Uh, Yeah. And then Mutrid, who is a medium-sized creature, follows back here. And Maritim. It's so nice. I'll point around the other side of the shop. So this way? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean... The like I said, the the grass itself, like the buildings are overgrown with vines, but the grass isn't crazy tall. Um, it is clear that this town has been abandoned. As you're running by the shop and you look in the windows, everything like there is no one in there, and it it looks like someone just abandoned the shop. Like they weren't they weren't in a hurry, they weren't grabbing things as they left, they just abandoned anything that was in there but nothing looks like it just looks like the people were gone one day yes and this Do is the, uh this is clearly a house back here and this is also a house how does the plant life look does it does the plant life look healthy or does it oh, look yeah. like it's struggling to exist no the plant life looks very healthy although you notice you don't hear a single bird you don't hear a single bug weird uh, Kyle's wants to go have a look in the house back there. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Yeah. Sneak my way over that way. Like, I want to be doing, like, the John Belushi thing in Animal House. <laughs> <laughs> the so, over-exaggerated sneak? Yes. There are windows in the front. There's a door here. It's a one-story house. Uh, it's not super well-furnished. I mean, the beds look nice, but it's not... Like, it, if anything, it looks like maybe a... Uh, What's the term I'm looking for? Like a temporary house, not like somebody lived here permanently. Okay, but that it was used. Uh, check to see if the door's locked. It is not. And then slowly open the door. All right, the door does not creak. You open it, it smells musty, right? Like like a house that hasn't had airflow in however long. It's a little warm. It's a little warmer in the house than it is outside. Uh, but I mean, you see a bed here. And then it cuts to an L, and you can see the back door right there. Uh, move into the house. All right. Floorboards don't creak. Um, as you come here, you can see another bed over off in this corner. I'm gonna snap my fingers. I hear a sound. Yeah. I was gonna, and I, I was okay. gonna follow in behind. Yeah. Are you standing outside? I'm staying outside. I would just love to see Callus like picked up a twig, and is just holding it for cover. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Very Animal House. Oh yeah. Very Monty <laughs> Python. How not to be seen. You cannot see me. <laughs> it was the third bush. 
on in, scope around in here and check this place out. All right. As you're scoping around, you get a, uh, you get the sense that, that there's something hidden. Um, you can't, you can't quite tell where it is, but give me a perception check. Oh, perception is 21 right now. Passive. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, you know, you know, as you're walking around on the floor, as you're walking around over here, give me that control. As you're walking around near this bed, like you, you feel a change in the floorboards, but you can't quite see where it's hidden so then give me um give me an investigation check like you know that there's something hidden over here you just can't quite find it guidance 18 plus four yeah okay. okay so as you're looking you see how the wooden slats are laid out and then under the bed you see a set of wooden slats that actually don't match the pattern and as you're feeling around on the floor you think that that is a, a hidden trap door Check under the, the bed. Trap. Sure. Roll it. Guidance. Oh, yeah. Probably definitely going to need it on this. Uh, 12. You detect no traps. I got to get smarter. Got to get smarter. Uh, That'll do it. <laughs> yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to take one of my daggers and like try to pry the boards up. Oh, yeah. And as you pry the boards up, I mean, the boards are the door. Like they, they overlaid it really well. Oh. And there's, there's a, an angled uh stairs that go down into what looks to be a cellar. Uh look over at Mewtwo and be like, hmm? Should uh, we go? Or check out more of this place. We're here. We can always check out more of this place in a bit. I say we clear this. We've got those ghosts out there. We don't know what those ghosts are gonna do. I've never I've never I've never encountered a ghost. Me so either. so I just something tells me Snickersnack is not going to be happy about fighting a ghost. So, because um, it it doesn't necessarily have a head or a body or a body. Um, yeah, uh, go grab Callus, and then we'll go down there. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll come. I'll come in and go with y'all. Now, yeah, and it's like I've got the option of going invisible. Now wait till we need it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you go down the cellar. Um, just runs the length of this part of the house here. Um, there's uh, a desk down there, and the walls are lined with dusty wine bottles. Probably not any good. Probably not. I'm going to yank one off there and, and take a look at the label. Okay. Um, as you yank one off, give me an investigation. Oh, give me five hours to let this thing reload. Okay. Five hours later. Four hours later. Yeah, that's the fucking thing closed on me, so... Okay. Investigation? Yeah, give me an investigation check. Oh, how about a 15? Yeah, so as you pull this bottle out, and I mean, it's it's a vintage elven wine from DR 1327, but behind the bottle of wine is a leather... Um, what looks like a leather journal. Okay, so grab that. Okay. Open it up and have a look at the journal. All right, so you open it up, and the journal talks about the person who was staying here's life. So uh, they had an audience with the king. It talks about um, how benevolent the king was and how excited they were to meet him. It talks about... Uh, Someone by the name of Jareth Ironstrider, who was the town's blacksmith, and that apparently uh, they were gracious because he had made a pewter figurine to uh, Tyr that had been at the uh, the temple in town, and apparently he had been making in his free time a bunch of these little pewter symbols of the gods of Toril, so that anyone who visited would have some kind of icon of their deity to pray to. Uh, it talks about um, having a party in the tavern and how they were excited to go to the party 
and everyone in town or almost everyone in town was there having a good time and that's the last entry so it was after a party that, that was they're they're talking about going to a party mm-hmm. and that's the last entry okay interesting mm-hmm. yeah and was it miratum heard that two ladies talking about a party yeah and then the two male goats were talking about going to the tavern because the shop they were going to was closed. Oh. Dallas is going to uncork that wine and drink it. Beautiful. Beautiful. I mean, it tastes good. After Dallas. he drinks that, after he drinks that, I'm going to say, you really want to drink anything from this town? Yeah. Callus, I need you to give me a wisdom save. Wisdom save? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like uh instant regret wisdom no keep leaning over dice the dice is still like 11 yeah yeah 11 you feel this need to figure out some way to restore this town to its former glory okay i caught the spirit of the town huh yeah all right i'm gonna send you a text message real quick all right, with a, with a hyperlink. All right, but you you like it's almost like a like a driving need, not a true compulsion, and not like you have to do this right now. But like, you feel this need that you're not you're not going to be able to leave this way, like this area, until you are satisfied that the town is going to be restored to its former glory. Okay, is he going on about this? Ah, uh, that's up to him. No, I'm damn gonna, it! No, he drank the Kool Aid. Yeah, right. Yeah, but yeah. I want to. Yeah, just turning mutual. It's like what? It's just wine. It tastes fine. I'm not sick. Okay, but I do want to. Uh, uh, yeah, I tell you, do want to uh get this town back in shape. When he says that, I'm gonna look over at Merritt. I'm like, the fuck? He wants. Can I roll pay? insight? Um, you can roll. Yeah, roll insight. Because, yeah, I'm going to look over him like, what the fuck? He he never wants to save shit. He never wants to save anything. Yeah, uh, 12. That is a little out of character. And given everything that's going on, you can roll a knowledge. You can roll an arcana check. It's going to be uh, tough, though. Give myself guidance. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 25. Definitely gonna... No, you have no idea. Your DC yeah, was... But... Yeah. Yeah, it would have been high. So we're gonna just go look at Callus and go. All right, a little weird. Uh, just keep scoping the cellar out, see if we find anything else out of the ordinary besides wine bottles and journals. Nope, that's all that's in there. All right, we head back up then, I guess. All right. So where to next? Building so over. There's, there's another house over here. Yep. There was a shop up here. I am keen to check out the blacksmith shop though, too. But yeah. The house, the house down first. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh, this house is in more disarray. Um, also not lavishly furnished. Uh, the door is also unlocked. There's some books on the floor up here. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing crazy major going on. All the floors seem solid. Yeah. Nothing unusual. Just uh, uh, there's some children's toys on the floor and all of this mess like a like a small wooden rocking horse we don't know we don't notice anything yeah out of the ordinary nothing out of the ordinary okay so we go we... check out the blackness shop yeah oh, right. like... <clears throat> is there a back door to this place yeah the blacksmith? The back. There, there's a back door to the house or not yeah there's a back door to this house but oh no! Not, I meant the blacksmith shop. No, not to the blacksmith shop. Only a front. Okay, sidle in there, keeping an eye out for any ghosts or apparitions. All right, uh, this door is locked. What do I need to pick it? I'm gonna start pulling out my lock picks. Yeah, one of y'all needs to roll thieves tools. Yeah, either one of us. I got it. I got a plus eight on thieves tools. Okay, Jesus. Yeah, and then tap myself, giving guidance. Good thing you did. The DC uh-huh. was 12. <laughs> yeah, 14. Like, I'm not yeah. trusting my dice. I mean, it, it pops right open. Inside the blacksmith shop, you find racks. You find a few racks with swords, uh, 
couple of suits of plate mail. Um, in the very back on a shelf, you can see some unfinished figurines, like just the start of like figures. You can't. Yeah, they they don't have any like faces or accoutrement or anything to really say who they were. Just like little little pewter statues that haven't really taken form. Um, there's a grinding wheel. There's a a forge, a crucible, and a workbench. Like the standard blacksmith fair. Yeah. And I will assume that the forge is stone cold. Oh yeah. Okay. Stone cold. Looking for any kind of like embers or anything and just kind of like holding my hand towards it. See if I feel any heat. No, no heat whatsoever. No, uh, where to next, guys? Do we want to keep checking buildings or head towards this tavern? I don't know. I think we should probably head over to the tavern, stay out of sight, and, and kind of do some eavesdropping. Because this All is right. weird. Yeah, a little bit. So, uh, as you look out the door, uh, you do see two ghosts about to head into this shop over here. What you see on the sign of this shop is that there's a uh, like a like a potion bottle on the sign. So I'm gonna look at both of them and go. I I want to go check that place out. Yes, no, we can have a look. Where the ghost just went in. Uh, might want to hold up and see if they come back out. So yeah, after about five minutes, these are the uh, the same ladies. They come out. They come back over to here. Uh, if the coast is clear, make our way across the yeah. Do your, do your the, road there. the hit yeah. and run. So the door is unlocked. Um, this is very clearly an alchemy and apothecary shop. Anybody who wants to look, give me an investigation. Oh yeah, it's... DC is fourteen to find anything. Well, I found something. Yep. Okay. Ooh, not oh, yeah. twenty. You it's all crazy. find it. So yeah, collect- we all find shit. Collectively, what you find. Whoever finds it is up to you. But collectively, what you find in here is 300 gold and four potion, four greater healing potions. Oh, wait a minute. Getting the gold. Well, yeah, we can split the gold three ways. Four ways. Three ways. So, Only 300. So how much gold do you have, Callus? I, uh, I dwindled my gold supply down in the last town, if you remember. By how much? A lot. How much <laughs> do you have to begin with? Callus would know right offhand. Hey, don't don't punish him for being the only one who asked the giving frog for gold. I know. True, I, I, mean, only have, I only have like 1,500 gold left. Okay, <laughs> I won't comment how much I have left then. I thought you took like... Thirty thousand. Not thirty thousand. I no. took like I took like six thousand out of that thing. Oh yeah. Okay, fine. I I was more conservative with my cold than Kellis. Yeah, I just kept asking, and it kept giving it to me until it made me stop. I'm fine. I'm fine with like either one of them finding. I would say like Mutured finds like the healing potions. Callus finds the gold, and then I find something that looks really nice and has no value to it whatsoever tell you what i'd like to find like more like equipment for my alchemy set supply um you would think that would be here but with that investigation check it looks more like instead of brewing anything here it was just sold here Hmm. okay so while i'm in here looking around the other thing i if if i can include this with my investigation check is so far the houses we've been into and this shop, does it look like it's been picked over, pilfered, ransacked, or anything? Or just left as it was? It looks like it was just left as it was. Okay. Nothing's been picked over. Nothing's <laughs> been ransacked. It was just left. So as you're going through this in your head, think like Croatoa. Right. And then everybody gets a potion of greater healing. And four, I'm, yeah, four potions of greater healing. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll add two. And I'll give, or yeah, we'll, or we'll we'll give one to Daisy. Yeah, Put yeah. One in the bag of holding. Yeah. <laughs> like there you go, buddy. Put that in your pack. Okay. And so, do we want to check out more places, or we want to go to the tavern where, if the journal entry is any indication that it, it all ended there, the the sign on this shop up here had a had a wand on it. Go oh, dip it in there. Okay. Be like. Yeah. 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 All right, coast is clear. 
and right as you the doors lock check to see if there's traps right as you duck in is when the ghosts leave from this shop and they just meander on over to here not a care in the world at no point have these specters seemed at no point have they seemed angry they seem to be going about their day as if they were still alive. Right. So they don't seem to be tracking us either through their right. motion. Right. Nothing at all. As you walk into this shop, uh, you find, you just find it, uh, three scrolls of Speak with the Dead oh. and 200 gold. So who wants the scrolls? I'll take them. Don't, don't, don't. I, I don't need to speak to things that are not alive. I, I do. know. I, I, I well no I I'll, I'll let other people because I I just re-kill them. <laughs> all right. So in all of your running around, you noticed that this shop was like a dress shop. This was a tailor. This was a general store, like a general goods, dry goods kind of store. Um. Also, as you're running around, you see more houses back here. Let me zoom out a bit. Yeah, there are more houses back here. So where do you want to head next? Do we want to look at any of the other places to see if we find any other things? Or do we want to head over to the tavern? I like to head over to the tavern and like eavesdrop some of these ghosts if we can. Like stay out of sight. I don't... They're inside. They're inside, yeah. But you can tuck up behind a... Like underneath a window and... Mm -hmm. And again, remember, all these buildings have been overgrown with vines and vegetation. The bushes are are unkempt, but they're not like crazy wild. Yeah, so um, we wouldn't necessarily be able to hear anything from the out. Well, if I if I creep up in them bushes and I hang out underneath that window where the ghosts are at, could I hear them? Yeah. Okay. I mean, if they're talking loud enough, you could. So yeah, I want to try that. I guess Does everybody want to follow? follow? Yeah. All right. So you do see that the ghosts are in there. And um, they're not drinking, but they're like miming drinking. Like they're not actually picking up a mug. When you look in, uh, what you see is that a, some of the bar stools are overturned. Uh, the tables, however, are all neat and tidy. Um, you do see some food out on the tables. You see some bottles laying down on the tables. You don't see any flies around any of the food. And the two ghosts. Is that? Does the food look good? Uh, you can't get a good look at it. Like, you can tell that it's a plate of food, but you can't tell what kind of state it's in. Okay. And the ghosts are just having a casual conversation about their day. One of them mentions the king. Like, yeah, you know, he's having that party. And, um, you know, I'll be going to temple later to, to make an offering to... And then as he says the name, it, like, warbles. And you can't actually understand the name of the deity that he says. And then the other, the other one doesn't even seem to react to it. Okay. Uh, like for experimental sake, I want to like knock on the window or knock on the wall, but like stay out of view to see if they even recognize the noise. Yeah, one of them, one of them turns to look at the window and then goes back to their conversation. Okay, so they, they do. I'm, I'm testing to see if they do recognize they they heard something that I did. Yeah. Okay. Is there like a, there's an, how's the window? Is it like glass, like closed off or is it like broken or busted? No, it's solid and the, the shutters are open, but it's glass and it's got the, the little cross in the middle of it. So it's like right. four, four little panes of glass. I wonder. So I'm going to cast a mage hand. Okay. And you can cast it in the tavern or out of the tavern. I'm going to cast it like under a table. Okay. As long as you can see like, under it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And then as it apparates, I'm going to have mm -hmm. it like flip down, like on its fingers, like it's got legs. Yeah. Now it is invisible, so nobody can see it but me. Like right. thing. Yeah, like thing, but yeah. on thing. <laughs> I'm going to move it around because it can only go like 30 feet away from me. Yeah. And I'm going to move it around and like find a glass or something mm -hmm. and then knock the glass over. Okay. They, they turn to look to see, to look at the glass that knocked over. And when they don't see anything, they go back to their conversation. Okay, and as they're continuing to converse, I'll move the hand back over, 
and touch one of them. How do you touch them? On a shoulder, gently. Like, okay. see if I can even, like, see if my mage hand can even, like, interact with them. Okay. So he turns to look at at what was there. And the other one's like, oh, you're paranoid today, aren't you? And I'm going to quickly move the hand over to the other one and touch that other ghost. Um, He's like, oh. Well, maybe it's just a breeze. I'm gonna turn to them and say it's like maybe maybe they're friendly. Perhaps yeah. if we try it out, there's no way to defend against them. We could run away. <laughs> Back down the road. that? Huh? Ah, callous. Yes. The idea of running away. You don't like that idea. No. Because I'm... that could that could potentially mean leaving the town. Right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> you don't want to meet them and you don't want to run away. Well, I'm so afraid. What do you I, I, do? Well, I, 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 I like the idea of going and meeting and talking to him, but yeah, I'm just, I, it's risky because okay. from listening to the people in the town, it sounds like they don't know they're dead. Well, we don't have to tell them they're dead either. We can act along <laughs> with them that they're not dead. I mean, oh, you have a fine town here. Uh, fine. Yes. Uh, exactly. I mean, exactly. Like, if we walk into, we could walk into the tavern as if we are travelers and... Okay, you first. <laughs> okay. You first. I'm All right, I'm down, but you first. What, are you, what, are, what is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. I don't like I, it. I don't like it either. I don't, I don't like seeing... Things. I don't I, I don't like seeing the soup being made. <laughs> um, <laughs> right. soup. So who's, who all's going into the tavern? Mutual's going first, covered head to toe in blood. <laughs> yeah. That's true. <laughs> All right, you walk in, and is everybody going in, or is just Mutra going in right now? Uh, I am going to stay by the window. Okay. I'll come in behind Mutra, but, like, timid. Okay. So Mutra walks in. That is a bearskin rug on the floor. Like, it is a very nice, cozy tavern. It smells of, uh, of like, linseed oil <laughs> and just general, like, comfortable tavern smells. The plate of food on this table is absolutely rotten. Uh, okay. But there again, there are no flies. And as you walk in, they don't even seem to turn and look at you. Okay, um, I, I'm I'm gonna turn back to Callus and say, "My, my Callus, what a fine day! Sure is a nice looking tavern." Now one turn. Tavern. Now, now one turns his head and he's like, "Oh yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a great tavern. We get they get patrons from all over the Sword Coast in here." Oh, it's good to meet you. We oh, are it's nice to meet travelers. You. Oh, oh, what, what? Wow, oh, I don't know when the last time we had just wandering travelers. Most people who stop here stop in to see the king. Well, we just got in. No, oh. we've been what? Throat was dry. Thought we needed a drink. Oh well, I, I don't know. And he looks, he looks. Uh, this one looks over at the at the bar. He's like, I don't know where the barkeep is or how we got. There. Anyways, um. I'm sure someone will be along soon enough. If you just have a seat somewhere, someone will come by and, and help you, I'm sure. Sure, okay. Let's, I, and I'm going to go up and and, uh, and have a seat at the bar. All right. So now I can bring that bar more into view. It's like a chair back here, a weird-shaped bar, a piece of bread right there that's moldy and rotten, bottle that's overturned, emptied, dried wine on the table. No, I'm going to say... Uh... Or I'm gonna sit down next to Callus, but I'm gonna turn turn back to to the ghost and say, um, it's like while we're waiting, it's like what are what are y'all's names? Like, oh, I'm uh I'm Jim and this is John. Nice to meet you, Jim and John. Nice to meet you. But it's I'm like gonna we, snug yeah. myself up in the bushes. Okay. I say it's like, yeah, we um you pardon us. We 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 do not know much about this town. We would love to know. It's that we whenever we came in, we heard uh, some ladies talking about about a a party, and that's we were wanting to also possibly look for work. Wanted to 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 see see what the haps is. Well, if anyone has work, it would probably be the king. This is this is John speaking. He says, um, I mean, depending on what you do, Jareth may may need some help in his forge, but I mean, yeah, any any work would be coming from the king or any of his advisors. Uh maybe Tyrion would have something. If if you're uh 
I heard that the the alchemist was looking for a new apprentice. His name is uh I had it. His name is uh Lysander. You know, he's he's the king's alchemist. He has a garden that he grows all of his herbs and everything from up at the castle and he makes everything that they sell down here at the apothecary. But yeah, no, King King Lysander, he's he's the one to talk to about work. And yes, he he is having a celebration in a couple of days. A huge party. I hear Lord Never member will be there as well. And what and what's the occasion? Well, King Lysander never needs an occasion to throw a party. Oh, of course. Yeah. He he I'm seems gonna el- I'm gonna elbow mute in the side. He's like my kind of king. He seems to believe that celebrations keep the spirits up, and I tend to agree with him. And I'm gonna look for something like a mug to like to to give him a cheers. Yeah, no, there's there's definitely like an overturned mug on the bar that you can just pick up and cheers with. And he he mimes cheersing back with you as his hand passes right through the mug. And I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up my empty mug and go, huh, and look around, and I go, I don't have anything, you know, to fill my mug. Or my mug's empty, and bartender, do you do you think if I leave a gold on the bar, it'd be okay if I go back and and pour myself a beer? Yeah, it should be fine. They All shouldn't right. leave. Uh, the other one leans over. He's like, you know, they really shouldn't leave it unattended if they don't expect people to serve themselves. Good thinking. So I'm gonna sleight of hand a piece of gold up on the bar and take it back. <laughs> okay. Do I need to roll for the sleight of hand? No, you're good. You're good. you're covered enough. I'm a, I'm a cheap bastard. What can you say? Yeah. There's, there's <laughs> yeah, a dive flip. behind the bar and have a look. Yeah, miser. Yeah. No, there's a, there's a tapped keg of ale right there underneath the bar. What, what, is there anything else? Give me an investigation check. Or are you just meaning, is there anything else to drink? No, no, no. I'm 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 looking for, for not just drinks. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me I'm give me an investigation. Pilfering. Not just pilfering either. I'm like looking around. <laughs> investigate. Uh, so while Callus is doing that, does this window open? Uh, it does. Is it like sashed? Like and you lift it up? Yeah, it's a slide up. Okay. Niner on that investigation. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't find anything. You find another tapped keg. So there are two kegs. All right. So I'm gonna pour myself a beer. It is incredibly flat. Oh, gross! <laughs> you gonna drink it? No, I'm not gonna drink this one. <laughs> I, I have better taste than that. Come on, mysterious wine off a rat. I'll drink, but nah. <laughs> mysterious mood and mind altering wine. I'm fine with. But this flat beer, now fuck yeah, that shit. Can't can't have a flat beer. You can't. Is have there a trap door or anything behind that bar? I you didn't find anything. Oh, okay, I guess what I'm seeing on the map is is not. You don't see what All you right. see. On yeah, the I map. don't see what I see on the map. Okay. All right. I'm gonna ask. Uh, I'm gonna ask them. It just curious. It's like, ha- has any big events happened recently in town? Because mm-hmm. we are wandering adventurers too. So, not not to my knowledge. I mean, the last the last big party was a month ago. So we're we're about due. Y'all throw these parties about every month. Yeah, pretty steady. What fun! What fun! Uh, yeah. Sometimes it's a masquerade ball. Pinky. Oh. Is the password to get in happen to be Fidelio? <laughs> no, there, there's no password. Everyone's welcome. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. Just may, maybe something from my hometown then. Uh, the dress and tailor make masks every time we have a masquerade ball and everybody's welcome to show up, but you have to have a mask. Is this next one a masquerade ball? It is not. Oh. And I'm going to uh, let the mage hand deapparate, and I'm going to reapparate it and try to open the window. Okay, yeah, it slides right open, like slowly. So if it starts to make like a creak or whatnot, I'll yeah. just like hold it. Okay, no, no creak. Okay, and I'm going to move it all the way up, and then see if the ghosts take notice to that at all. Like when a they breeze don't. starts to blow in. Nah. All right, and I'm going to. Is there a back? I'm going to move around to the back side of the tavern and see if there's a back door. There is not, actually, on this tavern. I take that back. There is a back door. So, Callus, you did find a back door right here. My okay. apologies. And, and as I find that, I'm going to, like, slowly open it and then slide my way inside. All right. Give me... Uh, yeah, so with your passive perception, you'll notice that there is... Uh, I'm sorry, Callus. What is your passive perception? Oh, shit. I didn't even look. 
Mine's 14. Or wait. My passive is 15. Okay. You know what I am? I'm just going to change that. That is, that's a hatch. It's not a... No, pass, no, passive investigation is 17. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to change it. That's not hidden. That's a hatch that okay. leads to another cellar. So yeah, you find that. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, you know, it might not hurt for us to go check like announcing to the ghosts, it's it might not hurt for us to go check and around and see if we can find the bartender. Maybe they're maybe they're having problems with getting Some one of the fresh beer. Yeah, getting one of the kegs up. I'm sure. I mean, you're you're welcome to. We're just gonna sit here having our conversation. Or one of them go down, and I'll just hang out behind the bar. Like I'm not standing up. I'm like low down behind. Them. Yeah, <laughs> no one sees you. As he sneaks in, it's like, you know, it's like, hey, the beer in here sucks, man. I'd imagine it's probably been here for a while. Uh, Maritim, while you're down there, give me an investigation check. Nat 20. Okay, so you find, as you're as you're down there close to the floor, um, actually it looks like it, it uh, was hidden under the rug. You find two... Uh, Two volumes. One looks like a journal, and one is slightly bigger, and it looks like a ledger. Huh. Okay, I'll start checking those out and reading through those. Which one are you looking at first? Read the ledger first. So the ledger uh, shows tabs so that are open, some are closed. There's a line that's circled that says the name Tyrion Quo, and he has an open tab for 400 gold. And is the is the ledger dated? Like it has um, dates on it. No. Uh, bad bookkeeping. Yeah. What a shame. No wonder that everybody's dead. And then I'll go reading through the journal. Okay. So the journal, it's root like it's full of rumors, suspicion, and shit talking about people in the town. Like <laughs> I think so and so is sleeping with so and so's husband. Um, Lord Nevermember came in and. Um, cheated on his wife. You see names from Waterdeep. Like none of these names really mean anything to your character. Um, but you do notice an entry that involves a name Tyrion again, and it says that uh, they were meeting with a cloaked figure, and then they left in a hurried manner. Um, it also says that it was on the same night that Tyrion bought food and drink for everyone in the tavern on his tab. Dine and Ditcher. What scum? Yeah, and that uh, you can deduce that that's where the four hundred gold tab came from, right? And it doesn't say where they went; just that they took. Yeah, just that he took off. Tyrion sounds like a dick name. Sounds like a uh, a Chad. Sounds like yeah. a. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No. 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 You. You. You get. You should get an inspiration for for the most accurate reference. There you go. You already have an inspiration. I know. I need like I just two tried to give him more. Yeah. Just... And one backed up. Honestly, when I wrote it out, I didn't even think about that until after I had written the name Tyrion like 15 times. <laughs> and I was like, shit. I forgot Damn. about Game of Thrones. Uh, some jackass is going to mention something about it. It's spelled differently. So anyone who reads it. Uh huh. It is. Uh huh. It's spelled T I R I A N. There's not a single Y in it. Yeah, For it. anyone keeping notes, Co is spelled Q A O. Tyrion Quo. Fucking Becky's. How do you spell Q what? A O. Q A O. All right. Yeah. All right. It's uh, fantasy. I'll I can spell up, shit. Go ahead. I'll hang out upstairs while they're doing their deal downstairs. I'd imagine it taking me a while reading through all this gossip yeah. and BS to try to find any answers in it. Yeah. So, let's go check out the cellar. So, those of you downstairs, I mean, it's more bottles of wine there's elven wines dwarven wines and there's barrels there are untapped barrels of ale i'm pull a random bottle off the wall and offer it to mutrid go drink <laughs> no the wine don't go bad <clears throat> the beer sucks i i I'll, I'll i'll just take the bottle and say thanks and put it in my bag okay nothing else down here nothing else um, as y'all come back up the ghosts mime dropping money on the table and get up to leave I'm gonna peek my little my little say head like up to see you watch them leave. Yep, they just walk out. They just pass right through the door. Okay. So I'm gonna wait for them to come back up from the cellar. 
Yeah, I guess we'd come back up. There's nothing else in there. And I'll say, it's like, do y'all do y'all think it might be worth talking to any of those other ghosts that we see? I think so. It's, it's seeming to me, it's seeming like saying it to the group, it's seeming to me like these people don't know they're dead. Right. Right. And and I don't like after after those weapons, I don't want to tell things anything like that. <laughs> Poor Mutrid has PTSD. Um, like, I only want to kill the bad things. Killing all the sentient weapons. <laughs> oh, you don't want to kill women and children? No, mm. unless they're bad. Yeah, cows mm. is different. Ah, so we're killing bad kids. Got it. Yes, bad kids. All right, Black <laughs> Pete. How can you shoot women and children? Easy. Just don't yeah. lick them so much. I don't care if they get hurt. I just don't want them in my way. Yes, yeah, yeah. So is the ledger wasn't dated. Is the journal dated? The journal is dated. Okay, so the last entry was talking about Tyrion running off with this cloaked figure, and then yep. nothing after that. Correct. Okay, so I'm going to point that out to Callus and see if the journal he had was dated, and if so, if the if the dates match. The dates are hung, close. I, okay, yeah, I would have hung on to that journal. Yeah, the date the dates are close. They don't match exactly, but they're close. About like a day or two. Yeah, about like two days. Okay. So yeah, okay. after after like confoing all like sharing information, it's like yeah, it sounds like we need to track down this Tyrion guy. And Tyrion might have to go to this castle. Yeah. Because yeah. if there's it's no still... answer, well, here. the guys the guys just told us that if we want it for work, Tyrion was one of the guys to see. Yeah, I still think that we should stop by. It's like with them talking about worshiping this deity at, here at this temple. Yeah, we should stop by the temple first. Might also be worth asking or talking about the well. Because if something's like poisoning the well, maybe a way to ask, oh, uh, how how does your well water taste? Is it clean? Is it good water? Uh, something like that. Well, at, at the same time, I imagine if with them being so unaware, I mean, we can ask, but... Yeah, I I, don't think, I wouldn't suspect that they would know. I wouldn't think so either. With how everything just looks like it just stopped one day here. So, Matt, is there any vessels that are holding water in here? None that are currently holding water, but if you had water, there are plenty of vessels that could hold it. Well, I mean, like, did they, like, store drinking water here in the bar for anything? No. I say that. Uh, there would be a trough. Or, or something for, like, wash water. Okay. Is there anything left in there, or is it evaporated away? It's evaporated away. Might be. Yeah. So maybe inquiring about the well itself. Like, okay. asking, oh, where do you get your water from? Da, 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 da. You know, just kind of beat around the bush about asking questions about the well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I say we go out and see you go up to some other ghosts. <clears throat> You're in luck. There's two different ghosts right here. One one male, one female. And then you come out and say, "How do you do?" Oh, hello. You're you're not. Are you are you from the town? No, no. We just got here. No, we're oh. wandering. Tra yeah, we're wandering travelers. Oh, well, we we too are travelers. We are not from this town either. I am here because I'm hoping to get an apprenticeship with. I should make names more memorable with Lysander. I'm I'm hoping to get. An apprenticeship with Lysander. The blacksmith? No, no. The the king's alchemist. Oh, okay. That's right. I knew. All right. Yeah, I knew he came yeah. up before. Yeah. Okay. And who is your lovely companion? Uh, this is my sister. She doesn't speak. I'm going to wave at her. She waves. So are you guys in town for the party? No, no. I am. I, I mean, we'll probably go to the party, but I am purely here in hopes of getting an apprenticeship. I'm hoping that with the power of alchemy, I can cure my sister of her ailments. How did you hear about the the apprenticeship? Oh, well, I mean, when one comes open, they send messengers far and wide. Ah, okay. Nothing suspicious. And by chance, we were wondering if we haven't tried any of the well water yet, because some, as as I'm sure you know, in some towns, it's <laughs> quite awful. How's Have you tried it here? Yes, yes. It, it tastes fine to me. How long I have can't... you been here? Oh, I, I don't remember. Anyways. <clears throat> okay. Just curious. Okay. 
Well, we're going to go off to the temple. Yeah, yeah, oh. we, yeah, we have some things to do with the temple. Oh, yes, the temple is lovely. Please enjoy yourselves. Thank you. And they start moseying this way as you start up here. You get to the temple. Stained glass windows on the outside are evenly spaced, um, and they line the plaster walls. There are sconces hanging in braziers, giving sconces and hanging braziers. They give off a warming light, leaving very few shadows in the building. Uh, looking in the windows, you can see that the floor is tile covered with uh, a fairly open ceiling held up by wooden beams just big enough for a small child to perch on. At the center of the middle of the walkway is a large stage and pulpit. Um, you can see that there is a desk. I need to remove the roof on that. Um, you can see that there's a desk uh, on a back wall. And you can see a actual person in there who is very large for a human. Um, they are cleaning and sweeping the temple. They have a short white faux hawk and an angry Hogan mustache. And there is something hanging around their neck on a chain. I would like to like see what the, see if I could see what the, uh, the thing is on his, on the necklace. All right. Roll a perception check. 30, 20. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it looks like, um, a statue of some sort, like a, like a figurine. I'm going to detect thoughts. Okay. And I'm going to take a look at the outside of this temple and try to figure out what it's a temple to or if it's like a multi. And that's uh, the other thing that I left like out of the description. Pantheon. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a non-denominational temple. Inside, you can see that there are rows of shelves lined with little deific figurines. You're using detect thoughts mm -hmm. and he stops cleaning for a minute and, uh, the thoughts that you get are he's guarding something. He misses his blacksmith shop. He never leaves the temple, but he doesn't know why. How so? Like, he 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 has the sense that he needs to stay in the temp. It's like he wants to go back to the uh, his blacksmith shop, but he needs to stay in the temple because he's guarding something here. So.